when you look at Oregon State, obviously a very a, a very important running game l led by B.J. Baylor. Uh, does that running back or is that just running game in general r uh, remind you of any opponents you had earlier in the year? Oh, man, they got it. It's very similar to what they did up in uh, Utah. This is a, a, man, it's a huge test. And uh, we got to get ourselves ready to go because not only uh, are they very good at what they do, but we're playing them at their house. So, um we got to get our bus ready to go. Chris, uh, Chris Carbon, Sun Devil Source. Uh, your, your position's got some takeaways in recent weeks. Um, what do you think have been the key things that have enabled that, and how has it felt for you seeing that kind of happen, especially Merlin this last week? It's great when you make plays, honestly, but it's always great when you make plays within the structure of the defense. Um, I think coaches call some good calls, and the kids have played it right and um, executed, and, and um, that's what happens when you do what the coach uh, teaches and coaches. Just to follow up on that, um, do the players, do they come back and recognize, hey, that was exactly like we thought it was going to be, or do you guys have the conversations about that that then – springboard that into additional um, oh, oh yeah it's definitely a tribute to, to to Merlin you know what I mean it's great to have him take that ball all the way back I mean it was huge but it's something that we work on um, every day and it's something that we could we'll continue to work on but I think you know when you look at how uh, AP sets up the calls in the game um, when they execute and do what they're supposed to do they have success so that's what it gets down to just doing um, what we're, we're coached and taught to do Doug Haller at the athletic uh, we, we see Darian Butler's play on the field. We see his fire. What is he like behind the scenes as far in meetings? Uh, just what is it about him that puts him in position to succeed that we don't see? I think he put in the time. I mean, I think that was the biggest thing. I think he put in the time, man. And um, it's it's great. He's a great kid. I mean, all all my my whole group, all the guys are, are great. You know, I've been um, blessed to have the group that I have. It's it's a great group of guys. They they come to work every day. And uh, it shows on the field. So, you know, we got to make sure that, again, get ready for this week. It's a new week. Uh, last week is over. And uh, we got a lot of work to do. These, this, this, is a, this is a huge test for us this week. And, Coach, Herm talked about, obviously, guys being in and out of the lineup, being injured. But with the linebackers, I mean, how do you feel that they've, to this point of the season, have kind of helped everybody adjust and feel comfortable when they've been in the game, especially the younger guys? Uh, I think they just, the leadership, you know, it's showing that they have the leadership to do it. And um, it, and it shows on the field, right? You know, what you do so well, you don't have to talk. That's what it's always all about. So that's what we talk about in our room. And we also talk about carpe diem, right? Seize the day. So that's why we take the approach every day, coming out and working. Uh, Coach, Zach Keenan, Devil's Digest in the back. Looping back to Merlin, just how important for him was it to get that pick six, especially after a, a blow back against BYU, which even though a while ago I'm sure was still affecting him? I don't think it's necessary. I don't, I don't dwell on those things. I don't let those things dwell on my players. Um, but at, at the end of the day, just like I said, we, we're moving forward from the last game. Great play. Um, we won. But now what are we going to do? What are we going to do this week? So – um, you never get comfortable in this game, right, until it's over, until the season's over, until the bowl game's over. So we're on to the next situation. Uh, and when that next situation comes, he'll hopefully react like he's supposed to, uh, and he's top, and he'll go out and make play again. But, you know, that, it's over. It's great, but it's over now. It's a, we're, we're, next week.